What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Samurai's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Iron Factory Bludgeon. This is from their kind of Samurai-inspired line, the Lyo Kaiser, whatever it was, the Prime Lion, whatever his name is. He was kind of a part of it. This guy's a part of it. It's all loaned to me from Robert D. It looks super cool. There's some really interesting stuff here paint-wise that I want to talk about, and I'd love to do so, but in order to get there, we got to talk about accessories. He comes with hand options, which you know I love to see, especially with the scale figure of this size. Two posing hands, two holding hands, two additional holding hands. That's also in addition to the two fist hands that you saw in the opening footage. He comes with two swords. They are decoed beautifully, painted top to bottom, silver and gold, of course. And then the black and red on the hilt. And then same for the smaller one, decoed the same way. Absolutely stunning. And they can be held in either style holding hand. He comes with two sort of sheaths, uh, for lack of a better term. They're just green plastic. They can peg into either side of his hip. And then you can store your sword in them. They can also store on his back, either on the side of these tracks here or on the direct back. So plenty of options for display. The swords can plug in to the same ports in tank mode as well. He comes with like the old style, like samurai type gun that looks like a, almost like a pirate gun. Um, they're awesome, but it's uh, dry brush silver on top of a darker gunmetal metallic and then gold accents throughout. Beautiful once again. He can hold that in the open hand holding hand or the closed hand holding hand. It can also attach to the bottom of his forearm, but it looks a little goofy because of the handle, but you can do it. So let's talk about the figure. For one, it is gorgeous. The proportions are awesome. It looks great. The stomach here is a bit unsightly, but like you'll find that sometimes like, you can cover kind of down on it. And it's just that little gold piece that stands out. It's a little figure. I got big hands. I'm going to do the best I can. I got a little pointer just in case I need it. Let's start with the head. Oh, head sculpt is money. I love the screaming face. I love the gold paint. The green paint, like the green plastic rather, has weathering throughout. What world am I living in where this Legends class figure is painted better than 90% of the figures I look at? Um, it's crazy in a good way. You also have these bits here. They're gold and they're glued on and they're a softer plastic. Um, the head itself is on a ball peg. You get a little bit up. You get a good bit down, swivel, and a slight confused bludgeon look. These shoulders, this, the gold is all painted. The shoulders hinge, so you get a butterfly joint forward and back. It comes out to a ball peg, so you get up to there. The shoulder pad is on a ball peg, so you can move that out of the way and then cover down as need be, a la SH Figuarts. Your bicep swivel is pretty much at the shoulder which is the one limitation not the biggest deal in the world then you have an elbow it's double jointed i believe yes for the full run and you have a forearm swivel at the bottom of the elbow so i haven't found that those limitations articulation wise namely the bicep swivel or the uh, upward head have bothered me at all when posing him but i'm pointing it out we have a wrist on a ball peg so you get the swivel and you get a little bit of in out up down then there's a wrist hinge that you can utilize a bit as well to get more of it in out all right the backpack tracks are pretty much stuck in place um they i thought that oh they these bits move i thought something else moved back there i guess i'm wrong it's okay i've been wrong before i know surprising then we have a waist swivel and an ab crunch. So no issues there. Uh, the, the demon head, like the devil head, the eyes are a um, light piping basically, like they're a translucent, but I have found, and now I can't get it to work, but I have found generally that they pick up light fairly well. And then it has black wash applied to all of it at different intensities to give different shades of shadow and depth. Beautiful. No issues. You had the side hip armor. I'll back out just a little bit. You have the side hip armor here. It's on a ball peg. It's also on a hinge. You can get that completely out of your way to articulate the hips. You also have this armor flap here. It can cover down. It can sit in front as a samurai. It's up to you. Your call. Get them out of the way. 
for ball jointed hips for the full Van Dam. And pretty, uh, yep, the full Monty, beyond the full Monty. Thigh swivel at a cut joint below the ball peg. Double jointed knee for basically the full run. Once again, the gold paint, and once again, the, the green with the weathering on it and some silver gunmetal accents. Then the ankles are on a ball peg. Ankle tilt down, ankle tilt up. Uh, rocker, I went too far there. Slight rocker, and I think you even basically get a toe hinge. Yes, so toe hinge down, not really so much up. And there he is from the back. I love this. I love everything about this action figure wise. Everything. Size comparison wise, there it is with our usual suspects the Iron Factory Blaster of the old scale and the Hasbro Stunicon. And there he is with Iron Factory's Tarn. So, right on point. All right, so let's get him transformed. So, you got to take this flag out, which I guess is basically an accessory as well. It's deep rooted in there. Um, long peg. So. Uh, or tab rather but be careful this thing is painted beautifully as well and sculpted beautifully per usual all right just get this stuff out of the way that back here in the back you want to flip the demon head up and you want to flip the arms down and then bring the arms back around to the front so that you're looking at the shoulder armor on both sides. Then you want to spin this and tuck this up inside so that the helmet sits inside of this cavity here, but that you're taking care of the, um, the crest there on his helmet split around the center section. And you can bring these up kind of in a, in a, you know, natural, what you would expect to be formation. And then you can bring your, your shoulder things up here and just kind of get them ready. And you can, uh, tuck down this head, this demon head as well. So like it's on its own hinge. So the, the bludgeon head goes inside of the kind of arm section here and the demon head comes to the front. Then take your demon jaw, which is on the back side of the figure bring that up the jaw itself is on its is on its own double hinge and it's a little tight tolerance wise so just use caution bring this up that will tab into the center and then this will tab in to the red translucent underneath and he has a bit of a, a underbite so just get that in the best you can so that it sits nice and right i'll clean it up the best i can all right now you can kind of get some space here to work Spin the thighs 180, and then spin the 180 carefully. Untab these flaps here on the back of the leg. You can do that on both sides. Let me be honest with you, I feel like my breast stinks right now. I'm going to go sort that out. And that's tucked up in there, so that's going to be a problem. I'll try to fix that. You're going to combine our wars the leg down. On a double hinge, bit of a tight tolerance, so use caution. There it is. And then you're going to bring, why can't I get that? There. There it is. And then you'll bring this side saddle here and tab it in you're going to do the same thing and this just sort of i think sits down i guess the back of this you're going to do the same thing on this other side mine is like up in there so to speak so i got to fix that real quick then you take your flag and you use basically you use all the accessories to kind of finish this thing off you just tab it into the gold piece there and the corresponding one on the other side that will keep the legs together and then in order to keep the arms together this is like a proper step of the transformation, which is why we didn't show it during accessories. Pardon me. Um, you got to kind of use this piece here, the gun, and just make sure you have room from the shoulder pad. And use that to connect both 
arms. And then I'll clean it up. We'll take a look at it. And there you kind of have it in tank mode. I wish that this and this kind of connected a bit more. I think that that would make it feel a little bit more complete. Um, but it's decent enough. I'm not exactly sure to do with this feet section, I'll be honest with you. I think it goes like this. Or maybe this flap comes down like that. I, th I don't know. I think I might like that best. But up to you. Uh, I'm sure there's a specific way to do it, but I didn't want to open up the bag of instructions. Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, but I do wish that these connected. I do find that generally this tends to be a more suggestive thing than a proper looking thing. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's inherently bad. It just means that it leaves a little less uh, or a little bit more to be desired. But it still looks beautiful. And it looks even more beautiful next to Tiger Tracks. And then lastly, you can go into spider mode. Just flip up your little horns here in the front, flip down your tracks, and then flip out the leg. Um, same on this side. Horn out, tracks out, leg out. And the same thing for the rear of it. You can untab that from the, the two legs. Track out, leg out. The tracks are also dry brushed with a silver on top of the gun metal. So, once again, a beautiful deco. And then you're ready to go. I'll clean it up. We'll take a look at it. There it is. And I like this an awful lot. I think this looks cool, and I think it works better because you have the track break up here. You don't kind of need it to look, so it looks a little bit more purposeful. Um, obviously, you know, all of them hinge where they're supposed to hinge, and the ball pegs still move. This looks a little bit more like a proper thing to me, whereas the tank kind of definitely feels more, you know, in the spirit of a tank. This feels like some sort of, you know, tank monster. Um, which maybe even fits the motif perhaps a bit better. And then you have um, it next to Tiger Tracks. So nothing really new to talk about here. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives. Uh, same kind of thing that plagues Iron Factory a lot of the time, and that's joint tolerances. Because of the joint tolerances, because of how small some of the tiny bits are, because of how small the figure is, you put a guy like me behind it, so to speak, and all of a sudden I'm in fear of breaking it because little pieces, big hands, tight tolerances, all the recipe for disaster. And Iron Factory often has this issue, and this one is no exception. My only other issue is this alt mode, specifically the tank mode, the tracks, don't look unified. They don't look cohesive. As a result, it doesn't really end up looking much like a tank to me, more so like a tank-ish thing, which doesn't make it inherently bad, but doesn't make it great either. Positives-wise, the good far outweigh the bad here. One of, if not the most best painted legends I've ever dealt with, ever. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. The articulation is there pretty much across the board. Perhaps the bicep swivel being the most notable, and I think it's more than an appropriate sacrifice for everything that you get here. Speaking of other things that you get here, one of those things is a beautiful sculpt. Another thing is appropriate, useful, and cool accessories, all of which sculpted to the same level of care, all of which painted to the same level of care. The materials feel good, and the build is solid, even though the joints are a little tight. And not all the joints, just some. So, yeah, not much else to say about this thing, other than if you like Legends figures, or you like Bludgeon, or you like cool transforming bots, you don't want to miss out on this one. It's a great figure. Probably going to see this at the end of the year wrap-up, would be my guess. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. <laughs>